Here's the thing with being cringy or not having what I call social intelligence or so social awareness is that your message, who you are, what you're offering, what you're putting out there could be a million out of 10. You know, you could be the best person, but because you lack that social awareness of the context and what's appropriate to the context, you will repel people and they will not see that. So literally, this was the best example. We're cracking into a topic. We're starting to build it up. Finally, we're getting into a certain flow. Julian! And notice too, I saw it for a while, but I'm like, but let me keep talking about this. I'm like, okay, let's do a question. So uh, with the job interview about me, I'm like, what does it have to do with the topic? We're building a flow. We're focused on this now, right? Great message, and I should love it more than anyone. It's a fucking live testimonial. It's the best thing ever, right? But it fucks the flow. And everyone kind of felt it like, well, uh, we're getting into, huh? Right? It's really like, you're about to fuck. It's like, make out, make out. Let's fucking do this. Let me turn on some Rick and Morty right now. <laughs> or let me turn on, do you guys ever hear there was like a, a meme that was going around like, do you, do you know the Star Wars song? Like the Cantina song? Actually, let me see if I can find it. It's that fucking good. It's literally like the Star Wars Cantina song. This shit. Right? You know the song, huh? So it was a challenge. Not, I didn't do this challenge. It was like a meme. And everyone was joking around like, you know, a million bucks to the guy who can get a blowjob to this song. How ridiculous is it? Like you're making out, making out. Okay, blowjob. One second. <laughs> like no one's going to go. They'll be like, what the fuck? Are you serious, dude? It just kills the vibe, right? It's completely out of context. <laughs> Unless someone's like, oh yeah, that turns me on every time, the Cantina song. <laughs> it doesn't turn anyone on. So one thing you must develop, and this doesn't come with the fact that you're born, it's a skill, is social intelligence, okay? And if you don't know this, it doesn't matter if you're a great person. Once more, it doesn't matter if there's chemistry or like, it's on. If you put that cantina song, it's not going to happen, right? It's just done. So you got to learn this. And in terms of social intelligence, number one, it's identify the context, which is what's the context now? We're a crowd, right? You're all here. You came to see moi. And we're diving into a topic, which is missing out on different opportunities. During that time, it's not appropriate to the context to, as an example, share a story. This actually happened last weekend in Helsinki. Someone's like, Julian, Julian. I'm like, what's your question? He's like, well, I just want to share a story that happened to me. I'm like, dude, I'd love actually to hear your story. And it could be a great story. But you know what? No one came here to see you. Right? Harsh, but it's true. You know? If I'm in the audience and say I go to a comedy show. This is something I actually love to do. Going to a comedy show. And let's just say there's a comedian I want to see. And he has a certain amount of time on, set, on stage. That's his set. And he's doing his fucking jokes and shit, and I'm laughing. And then someone in the audience is like, hey. Everyone's like, what? Can I tell my joke? <laughs> what am I going to think? Dude, shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear your joke. I didn't come here to hear your fucking joke. I came here to hear that person's joke. Right? Or is it just me? Or does everyone want to hear everyone's fucking story and joke? No. You go to a comedy show to watch the comedians tell their jokes. That's the context. It's not time to share your life story. It could be a great life story. It could be an even better joke than the comedian's joke. But it's not appropriate and it lowers your value. Okay? If you're not aware of that, you will not be able to communicate who you are, what you have to share appropriately. Realize the context. Always identify the context. Even when you talk to people, even if you want to meet someone. Say, for example, you might really want to work for this person. You know, as an example, um, let's just take Jordan Belfort. Say you want to approach Jordan Belfort. What would most people do? They might go to an event or something and they see Jordan. And they're like, Jordan, that's Leo, but it's not really Leo. Let's do this. <laughs> and say you're Jordan. So I come up and I say, say you do the speech. I'll just be there. I'm like, Jordan. And then you're done. And I'm like, hey, Jordan. First thing everyone says. Hey, hey, I'm a big fan, and you're gonna try to let go, and I'm like, I'm not letting go. <laughs> hey, Jordan, 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 um, I'm a big fan. Now listen, I flew out from Norway all the way to America, and I spent my life savings on this. 
Like, I have no more money. I just came here to see you. And I knew that if I just came, there'd be an opportunity. Can I work? Uh, can, can I work for you? Can you mentor me? Now, what's the reaction there? Two words. Two words. Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. What's the context of Jordan? He just finished a speech. Probably there's a lot of people want to talk to him. He probably has stuff to do. And you're like, I'm not letting go. Right now is the best time to talk to you. Da, 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 da. What else? Yep. It's pretty much like, mentor me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Yeah. Well, the thing is not even so much that. It's like, he probably does want to help you, but you can't help everyone. So it has to be smart. Like, he has to dedicate his time appropriately. What else? Yeah. He was learned uh, in their own way how to ask for help. Mm -hmm. like you have to please someone. Yeah. These are really the biggest ones. Like, context. <sighs> it's not the time and place to do that. You know? Literally, it's like, uh, number two. You're asking for something, and by saying this, you're also trying to trap him in a way. And that's a subtle thing to realize. It's like you think that by sharing, um, you know, your story. It's like, look, I flew all the way from Norway. I spent all my money, blah, 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 blah. Um, what is it trying to do? Like, what's the intention really? It could just be to share your story, but more often than not, it's this is all I've done. You owe me. And that person will feel it. It's like, eh, although I like you and I would help you, and it could be a great match, it'll immediately, like, Cringe. Fuck taking, start giving value. Literally, you want to, uh, someone to help you, someone to mentor you, whatever it is, always offer value. 